Hey what's up guys welcome back to smartphone world Samsung Galaxy M31 is packed media core budget processor from Samsung the Exynos 9611 which should provide decent gaming experience In this video we are going to put Samsung M31 is to test and see if the phone can handle long gaming sessions Before we get started this video is sponsored by Sprig a brand that offers premium temper glass at affordable prices Use coupon code 20 off to get 20% discount on all temper glass purchases from Sprig website Check the links in description for more details. We are going to play 3 high graphic games continuously for 60 minutes and check the temperature and battery of the phone on frequent intervals to see if there are any heating issues. First let me show the temperature and available battery on the phone. The battery is at 42%, the ambient temperature is at 32 degrees and the phone's temperature is around 33 degrees. Let's launch Call of Duty, a high graphic intensive shooting game from Activision. We are going to play a multiplayer game. First things first, the graphics looks awesome and the controls are pretty easy. The, the graphics were set too high and I tried everything in the game from running around to shooting enemies and Mali G72 GPU handled everything smoothly. I did notice occasional frame drops in high graphics but overall the gameplay was smooth. The bottom firing speakers in m 3 do get muffled if you hold the phone in landscape mode and play the game. Unfortunately, One UI 2.0 for M series smartphones lacks inbuilt screen recorder support, so I have used AZ screen recorder to record the gameplay. This added more load to GPU, and I did notice quite a few frame drops. It's been more than 25 minutes since we started the gaming test. The battery has dropped from 42% to 36%, and the temperature has raised from 33 degrees to 38 degrees. For the next 15 minutes, let's play Free Fire and see how M31 handles the game. I played survival match and I feel the graphics good, the gameplay was pretty smooth and there were no frame drops or hiccups even during intense action. I did try to install KF Mark to show FPS but unfortunately the installation failed in M31S. It's been 40 minutes since we started the gaming test and the battery dropped from 36% to 33% but the good news is the temperature of the phone did not increase and was around 38 degrees. Now let's move to everyone's favorite game PUBG. We are going to play team deathmatch for the first 15 minutes. I'll max the graphics settings and as you can see we can go till ultra HDR in Galaxy M31s. In team deathmatch there will be constant shooting and intense action, I did notice several frame drops and the overall gameplay was choppy. I need to dial down the graphics settings from Ultra HDR to High HD so that I can play the game. In this graphics setting the gameplay was smooth and there were occasional frame drops. Moving on let's play a classic match and try to get chicken dinner. I tried everything in the game from panning around running driving cars to shooting enemies and I did experience occasional frame drops but it will not hinder the overall gameplay experience. A point to note here is I have been using third party screen record to record the gameplay as well. This in turn will add more load to the processor and GPU and might take a toll in battery life. I am pushing the phone to its limit playing PUBG at high graphics, recording the gameplay and as you can see Mali G72 and Exynos 9611 handles all the tasks I throw at them but I wish the performance could be better. The clock has surpassed the 1 hour 15 minute mark and the battery dropped from 33% to 24%. The temperature of the phone was well under control and was around 38 degrees. The max temperature register was around 39 degrees and only the top portion of the phone was warm. The bottom portion was pretty cool. Even though the graphics was maxed out in all games and the brightness was set to 50%, Samsung m 31 s battery dropped by just 18% after 1 hour and 15 minutes of gaming. If you are an avid gamer and if your budget is around 20,000, then I would suggest you to look for other options like Redmi Note 9 Pro Max or Realme 6 Pro. If you are a casual gamer, then you can buy Samsung Galaxy M31s. I have already uploaded gaming test videos of OnePlus Nord. If you guys are interested, please do check the video. Before we conclude, a word from our sponsor Sprig, a brand that creates premium, affordable, and durable temper glass for smartphones. You can buy Sprig temper glass from Amazon, Flipkart, or Sprig Store. You can download the Sprig app from the Play Store, and iOS app is coming soon.
I would recommend you to check Sprig Temper Glass and all links will be in description. So what do you guys think about Samsung M13s gaming performance? Share your thoughts on the comment section. As always, do what you love no matter what the outcome is. I'll see you guys in the next video. And you guys, have a great day.